you know, and one of the biggest troubles was that situations started coming up that had nothing to do with the church, but yet they wanted me to speak on it and say things about stuff that wasn't church related. And then they let those things interfere with the ministry of the church to the point where people stopped coming, the point where they stopped giving, the point where they wanted a loyalty over here that wasn't given anywhere else. And I see it in other areas right now. I look at it because, you know, right now I, I'm saying it, I, I've addressed it, and I've released it because I said, God, if you don't want my mantle. Mm -hmm. If you don't want what God has placed on me, I have to let some people just stand on their own. Mm -hmm. And I got to let them go through what they go through by themselves before they're able to realize that where they are is because of the connection that God has given them right here. Not the sole answer, but I am a part of the answer. Just like all of us are connected. All of us have greatness in us. And my biggest struggle is now that I know the world is waiting on us to stand up. The world is waiting on us to move. And I just don't want to be late to that celebration. I don't want us to be fighting with each other. I don't want us to be downcasting and you know, just walking over each other. I want us to be a family. Yes, family got issues. Mm -hmm. They got, every family got issues. Yes. Yes. But I love you, That's right. regardless of the issues. Yes. And that when it matters the most, that we're going to stand up together. Yes. We're going to walk together. Yes. We're going to go after these yes. things together. So I just want to encourage you to that, that, that we're moving. I'm, I'm going in uncharted territory personally. You're going in uncharted territory. Mm -hmm. All thing we can do is trust him. Yes. That's all. We, we all have that in common. Yes. Because I want to see some business open. I want to see some people move forward. I want to see some people put some new stuff in their house. I want to see some people let's go and stop beating themselves up for what they used to do. I want to see people purchase their home. I want people to get the joy of the Lord back. I want to see this candy business take off. I want to see a joint venture where they selling cakes and selling pecan candy all in the same building because they got things to do. I, I want to see Lauren having a vacation home, not somewhere moving away, but I want to see her having a vacation home and I want to see her traveling the world, being a worship leader and not traveling, going to churches robbing them of money, but going there to help them become stronger and trust in God. I want to see all of us conquer the fears that we have. <laughs> Sniff, come on out. Scurry, come on out. Him, we about to kill you, dog. <laughs> How? It's time to move. I want it to be said about the group that's in this room tonight that before December 31st comes in here, we are not going to be the church people who are waiting on the new year to make changes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a new year begins with a new you. Mm -hmm. If you change you, you've already ended one year and gone into a new year. I'm changing. Mount Zion Pilgrim is changed. Yes. But the change that happens with this ministry, it starts right here. So you can stop that now.